And Josephine County Commissioners voted 2-1 to one this week to allow a property owner to opt out of being part of the county's library district. Yesterday, the homeowners who submitted the petition to be removed from the library district, Mike and Winnie Pelfrey, spoke at the county commissioners' meeting. They say it's because they don't use or benefit from the services that the library provides. After a lengthy back and forth between community members about whether it should be allowed, commissioners voted two to one to allow the property owner to opt out of being in the voter back district. This means they'll no longer have to pay taxes to the Josephine Community Library. Commissioner Dan DeYoung was the one dissenting vote. He says he's worried about what this decision will mean for the rest of the state. What I'm concerned about is establishing a precedent for all over the place. When you say that you should be able to be in or out, you're just basically saying that elections don't matter. It was just last month that county voters passed a law enforcement district, something commissioners had been backing for years. It's unknown whether community members can now opt out of that and other districts as well. At the meeting, members of the library board and Pelfrey said he had ran for a spot in the library board earlier this year but lost. We reached, we reached out to each commissioner for an explanation about the legality of the move, but we haven't heard back. The county's legal counsel and his deputy are both out of town, out of training.